ladies and gentlemen, we are back at another video brought to you by Rib. Today we're going to be setting up a Altisly 4.4 default server um, on the VPS. So yeah, let's do this. I'm currently downloading it. I don't know why I'm downloading it to the desktop because I'm a bloody noob. Let's go to the server. Which server should we set up on? Let's set up on this one. Okay. One thing I'm not going to set up is the two things you need before you do anything. Which is XAMP and Navcat. Obviously, if you haven't got them, just Google them and they're just basically an install. But just go on the. on my previous video, Armour from scratch, and it'll show you how to do it anyway, although it's pretty basic. So let's download the files, contents we need, and let's close this server. Let's start in a different directory. Do, do, do. Okay, as normal, guys. So wherever we want to install the directory, let's create a folder so let's create a new folder uh, let's put it in the C drive new folder and let's call it Altis Life Updated jeez Altis Life Updated so now we need Steam CMD I think I can find that same again just google that one or watch my previous video I'll put the uh, there we go I won't put the links for these because they're just a google job do, 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 do. the mission obviously that I'm starting with this mod pack yeah I will put this in the description so let's go to Altus Life Updated paste that in there double click so it'll install some packages for our Armor 3 directory but then we need to log into Steam with this little interface login forward slash same again if you watched the previous video but here you'd put login space Rupert space football for instance that's your login name and your password so login space Rupert space so you login space your steam username or ID space your password but I'm gonna quick get we'll skip this little part and we'll come back do not want the world know my info so we are back guys I've just cleared the bit of the info uh, we're logged in just had to do a steam guard check your email and put the code in but hey ho here we go so now we need to go app updates for space um, Capitals, but I don't think it matters. 233780 space validate. Enter. Okay, it's installing our Armor 3 directory now, which will be in the Steam apps common Armor 3. So we just gotta wait. Indeed. So I have, for most of my missions, used a 3.1.4.8. For point 8, like I've pointed out, the reason being it's been the most stable, even the guys um, at so today I'm not too sure this is like a month back but it is the most stable version um, but due to many requests here we are setting up the 4.4 the other reason was I knew it inside out I know the code I know exactly what every file I know, I know how to basically do the lot in the 3.1.48 whereas 4.4 I know they changed a bit of the way things work so it's going to be another learning curve so we'll see, we'll see. Anything I learn, anything new, etc. I'll post up on the the channel anyway. Fifty five cent. Nearly there. If there's any mods, any missions, etc. you think I should check out, put them in the comments below. I fancy like trying this scary mod that I've got hold of. Hmm, so we'll see. We will see. Once we get this mission up I could always run it as a series, leave the default Altus Life uh, mission up for you guys to jump on if you wanted and then every time we update it or do something to it I could do it as a series sort of thing and upload the channel let me know if you want to see that upload to the channel nearly there, 93% come on okay it's fully installed so Steam apps, common on my three, right, that can go. Let's just go to the downloads. Four point four copy. Let's just whack it in here. Just delete this. So it's an old mission. Paste in here. This is the file folder that'll be in your in the description. Extract here and add-ons. So, XDB and Life Server straight away. Bring them over paste. I'm not going to worry about Beck and the BE filters etc at the minute. Copy the memory allocator tbb uh, malloc.dll just goes in the Armour 3 directory. That's for our database. 
then we've got the mission here would just be a default mission go to MP missions and let's just paste it in here right well one thing I'm noticing straight away because I got these from what I could from a bit of googling and uh, the github but we don't seem to have a exdb config.ini and it is an xdb2 which is the differences to 3.1.48 so we'll just boot this up I'm not sure if it's going to work so like this is the first time I set up a 4.4 and we're doing it live right here right now but we'll give it a bash I think we've got everything where we need it um, on the 3 we've got the live server we've got the xdb on the set on there it is, got you. But I suppose it's probably just going to be the same as the other one. Yeah. We'll, we'll use it anyway. So go copy Armor 3 server, MP missions. Sorry, what am I doing? Armor 3 server. Let's just paste it in here. Now we do need to. Let's delete that. You need to edit that exdb. If we go down here, Altis Life, username Hayden. I use that because we've used always used it. Hayden three. We're going to call our database Altis Life. Okay, save that. Come out of that. Right now we need Tads to boot up the server. I've already got it downloaded, same again, don't you get that Farmaholic. I find it just seem to find though there's only a deep one decent version, that's two point seven, but that's what I seem to find. Tads. Let's give this a bash. Oh, uh, we haven't done the database. So database. Let's delete this old database and let's create a new one. Connection MySQL, connection name, Altis Life, like it was called in the Leave all that. Okay. Alright, let's create a user. We've already got Hayden. Hayden's already there. I'm a three life, so get rid of that. Hayden's already there. Should be, should, should be good on that side of things. Let's try and execute the SQL file. So right click, execute SQL. Let's find it, which was in do, 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 desktop, new folder, add ons. I'll just have to SQL open. Are you going to work? You work, so that's a good thing. Refresh this. Refresh. Out its life. Tables. Okay. Sweet. Right. Now let's try and boot up the server. So this is going to be ribs test altis life. We don't need anything there. Players 100. Also, to add more players, you just need to open up the mission and add more playable units to the map. I suspect in our, our default, there's probably about 60 odd. Um, nothing else we need to change there at the minute. Rules, throwing off system battlefield so it doesn't refresh every time someone, the last person disconnects the server. Missions, Altis Life, mods, EXDB, life server, are you going to work? Is the question. I need to access the armor You see, let's go. 4.4, first time I've ever used it. We shall see. Let's boot up armor. Just play, we don't need any mods. It's default out of its life. a lot of junk email. Z Hopefully we'll all be working, we shall see. Any problem that we're gonna have if any I think would be the database. But we will see.
come on so obviously if you wanted to use a different map you just change the mission where this is altis dot altis you need to change it to do whatever map it is and port over the NPCs but that will be another video now we've, we'll onto the new framework well the latest framework rib test altis so far so good can we join will AXDB let us is the question can't really see why not Outer Life RPG 4.4 not too sure what the, the, the difference is with the 4.4 to the 3.1.4.8 what the major differences are if you know let me know in the description below stop vc one time dot dll is missing from your computer what the fuck is that okay so there's our first crash guys let's try and just download that vc run time dot e dll free downloads okay That's still running. Let's see what happens. And the mission's still up. It didn't crash, but what was that all about? Did we download it? Right. Um, I don't know about that. I like want the. Hmm, intriguing. VC runtime. Never heard of that one. It's going to end up downloading some malware. It ain't any of that fucking shit. I dare fucking click any of that. I'll probably YouTube vid it if the server doesn't work. Still running, the server didn't shut down. Send up clients. You can do this! Let's just check what's going on around here. See, being that I've got mods up again. Setting up client. Shall we try again? Is the server even still up because of that message we got? Yeah. Let's see what happens on the second time. Nope, we're definitely having an issue. Maybe it was something to do with that runtime. We don't know. Let's just check this. Fuck's sake. Not right. Maybe it's... Uh, I think it's one of them. That's definitely not working. What was it? I was checking that one.
What's it doing? Um, da -da 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 -doom, da -da 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 doom, download that. VC or one time DLL. I know where you're gonna go. VC one time extract here. Issues definitely going to be EXDB live server related. Let's see, it worked that time. Whether the DLL ad made a difference, I'm not sure, but we put that DLL there and it seemed to work. We're on. I was losing a bit of faith, but, but we cracked the case. We cracked the case. Default. These are just because I've got mods on the go. Altis Life 4.4 is rock and rolling. So I'll put that v that VC DLL in the in the download folder as well. So, everything you need will be in the description. Let me just, what we'll do is, no, it started up without any errors and that at that time. I think we're good. I think we're good. Happy days. Uh, now we can respawn just to prove that everything's working, I suppose. Although you've watched me live troubleshoot and fix the issue. Disconnect on a recent ribs test, Altis Life. The issue must have been that server needing that DLL. Well, happy days. It's all working. Fabulous, darling. I'll leave this up for a bit if you want to come and jump on it. And I'll, like I say, until I determine whether I want to make a series, because uh, this is fresh to me as it is to you. 4.4. I've never looked at the framework of 4.4. I'm always, like I said, I just know the 3.1.4.8 inside and out. But we've got the server up. That was the this first stage of the uh, maybe the new series. A bit of problem shooting, but we got there. No, no issues really. I thought we might have gone have have to go uh, delving deeper into troubleshooting, but no. Happy days. So I'll upload this folder, but I'll also include that file in case you need it. Uh, and like I do, just put it in the armor directory, like I did. There we are. So this folder, guys. Just watch what I did. Anything else you need, like Steam, CMD, Tadst, Xamp, and Navcat, Google, Jobby, or watch my previous video. I think I might have links for them, i.e., from scratch. Just, just for the tools. But thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. That's 4.4 as requested and troubleshooted live by Rib. Adios, amigos.